So today's going to be a video addressing some recent drama, but before I do that, I would like to give y'all some modern Taino history starting with Nacion Taina for context. This is a community that a lot of leaders and elders today were once part of. From what I've been told, some folks left this community due to disagreements on things like spirituality and whatnot, so they ended up creating their own Yukayekeno. Years later, you have some of these Kasikeno vying to be the most famous and or to have the largest Yukayeke. Instead of community building, which puts the focus on being culturally indigenous, some of these men opted to prioritize becoming politically indigenous. They were going out of their way to sabotage each other, doing things like hosting events on the same day and time as another Yukayeke to essentially force people to choose. This flies directly in the face of the unity that they claim to want. Anyway, a Bejique who was once enrolled with Hiwayagua opted to leave the community after another person was brought in to also be a Bejique. He worked alongside an academic in Puerto Rico who was running and received grants for a quote-unquote indigenous-inspired school. This academic copied the Wayu dictionary, sprinkled in some Taino words, then repackaged it as Borike Naiki. This same academic received a lot of negative criticism, not just for all that, but for things like hosting an areto inside of a Catholic church on a day celebrating San Juan Bautista or St. John the Baptist. Eventually, this same Bejique created his own community, which is the one that both Jesenia and Lucy used to be enrolled in. Like just about every other Yukayeke, they started to work on their own language reconstruction. The problem is that they were taking the same approach as the academic I previously mentioned, which was to copy another community's work and repackage it. This time, the community they were attempting to copy from was Higuayagua. I know this for a fact because one of the people I named in the chat that Lucy linked was trying to gain access to the now public Quizlet classes I had created when I was still on Higuayagua's language team. Jesenia interviewed this person one day, and the video was later posted to Instagram where they throw multiple indirectas at Higuayagua. I'm not sure how much Jesenia and the rest of their leadership knew as far as that's concerned, which is why I never called her out. But other members of Higuayagua saw this video for what it was and did call her out, which led to a meeting between some of their leadership and some of ours. I was not part of that meeting or privy to the conversation. So all I know is that the parties involved were called in and Jesenia ultimately chose to disenroll from that Yucayeque. Since then, Jesenia has been throwing indirectas at Higuayagua, even claiming that we had a chat dedicated to coordinating attacks against her. That's how I know Lucy used her because she knew Jesenia already had a bad taste in her mouth regarding our Yucayeque and she has significantly more followers than Lucy does. Again, I chose not to respond because I don't know what Jesenia has been told or shown, but I can almost guarantee it's not the whole truth. I'll give credit where credit is due though because she did follow protocol and try to reach out for mediation, which I only found out about after I was sent her video. Here are some more things that have been conveniently left out of the conversation that I think are worth noting. One, I did not create the chat. Two, the chat I was in was made to compare notes on what a bunch of us were told by Lady Rose, Danielle, and Monique before I called them out, not to talk about Jesenia. Three, some of the screenshots Jesenia showed in her video aren't even from the chat that I was in. Four, Everyone who participated in these chats aren't members of Higuayagua. And five, the fact that there's all this smoke for only those who are members of Higuayagua is telling, regardless that the people running their mouths today have any real friends who are enrolled. Moving forward, I want to let it be known that people sharing their thoughts and feelings with their friends and family in private conversations is not bullying. Yes, I said Jesenia was anti-Black. We all remember when she posted a video trying to call out Bertrude, a visibly black Haitian academic. She took her video down, which goes to show even she knows she was being anti-black. But the response where Bertrude gracefully points out Jesenia's microaggressions is definitely still up. My having lighter skin doesn't change what another person has said and done. We all know that being mixed does not mean you're somehow incapable of perpetuating bigoted views. 
What's ironic is that Lucy is lighter skinned than Gigi and I, but she keeps bringing up her genealogy to make herself seem more legitimately Taino, knowing full well that she's related to both of us. Oh, and Gigi's mom being a Trump supporter needs to quit being weaponized against her because Lucy is now following a pop-up cacique who is also a Trump supporter. Not only that, but he's an ex-member of a known cult, a sexist, xenophobic, and so many other things. If she was genuinely concerned about problematic people representing the Taino community, she would look closer to camp and also in the mirror. For those who missed it, this isn't the first time Lucy has taken something shared with her in confidence and made it public because she seems to like instigating things. Remember that DNA test of Lady Rose's that was posted showing she had no Afro-Indigenous DNA? Yeah, that came from Lucy. She pretended to be a friend of mine and some of the other people Jesenia named in her video told us she even loved us, then turned around and leaked the chat after her falling out with Gigi. Why did they fall out? Great question. I would love to tell you. Back in 2021, I posted a video about Carlisle Indian School to combat some misinformation regarding its Puerto Rican students that resurfaces every now and then. Recently, I saw a group on Facebook stating that you can claim being Taino if you can prove through genealogy that you're related to one of the aforementioned students. The issue is those students were white Puerto Ricans, not indigenous. This has been researched and confirmed. I expressed my frustration with this to Gigi one day and told her I wasn't going to say anything because I knew people would get in their feelings and start drama. Lo and behold, I was right. I think how people have been responding all excited and ready to recruit anyone who doesn't like us, including hunters and pretendians, to feel validated in their bullshit says a lot about them, as well as those of you who clearly pick and choose when to stand on your purported values. Don't even get me started on those who have actively defended Lucy and anyone else who jumped in to very publicly talk shit while trying to make Jesenia out to be manipulating them when it's Lucy who started this whole thing and is the one trying to hide her hands. Meanwhile, others like Jojo and Chris are taking things even further because some of us refuse to turn on Gigi. I even removed myself from the chat I was in with Chris after deleting what I've outlined in this video because I knew she wasn't trustworthy, as evidenced by Carela's recent videos showing screenshots of that chat. And I didn't want anyone sharing what I had to say before I got to say it my damn self. I don't give a fuck if people don't like me over things I've actually said and done because I was taught other people's opinions of you are none of your business anyway. What I do care about is people trying to get others to attack me or anyone else by intentionally misrepresenting the truth for their own selfish gain. As I've said before, some of y'all need to grow the fuck up and stop making your personal issues all of native TikTok's problems.